happy Tuesday. I'm going to a wine bar that I've really wanted to go to for a long time. Story is not new. This is a very me thing, but it's called Oriel. It's in, I believe like downtown LA. And I think it's French and I'm really excited. I'm having such a fun time like exploring the LA food scene. I feel like I was so sad to move here from New York because I was so nervous that the food wasn't as good out here. Cause I think growing up out here, I lived in the Valley and I just didn't, I don't know. I, I guess I just didn't explore that many restaurants. So it's been, a, I've been having a good time, but this is my outfit. Love this blue sweater. One of my favorite sweaters. I've owned it for years. It's from H&M. I got it like no joke, I think 10 years ago and it's still, is alive and breathing. And then I'm wearing my very baggy white jeans. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I am going to a restaurant in Silver Lake with my sister tonight. We're going, to, it's called Budanoki. Uh, it's like an izakaya spot, but it's supposed to be really good. I think they are known for like spicy tuna hand rolls and things of that sort, which are very much up my alley. So I'm very excited. I will say the one thing about my sister and I, when we go out to eat together, it's a little tough because we tend to pick completely opposite things off the menu, which of course we do because we're sisters. Um, so hopefully tonight that's not the case and we just have peace and fun and love. I also need to mention these really cute jeans I got from the brand Still Here. Um, I think they're a New York City like vintage brand, but they're th these like the perfect medium blue, which I've been trying to find for a long time and they're stunning. I'm gonna show them one time. They're like the perfect mid-rise and they're pretty long. Like they almost hit the bottom of these boots, but they are gorgeous. but I'm very excited because I'm absolutely starving right now. Just in an all white little outfit with my black boots. One of my favorite go-tos, honestly, I love like a like complete, what's the word? Not monochrome, no, whatever, all white outfit. <laughs> um, but I'm going to Disneyland tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. And it's gonna be absolutely pouring rain. We're supposed to get some sort of El Nino coming into LA, but I am not canceling because I haven't been to Disneyland in probably like five plus years, so I refuse to cancel. When the food came. I think this is really good. What's oh, your rating? Being... What's your rating? No. Six point eight out of ten. That's not good. <laughs> that is...
All right, I officially made it to the new apartment. I moved like my mattress, my modular sofa, a little end table, um, my kitchen table and my chairs in yesterday. I am slowly going to be like cultivating little things for this apartment. Again, it's a very small apartment, but it kind of works perfectly. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to like be, I think a little more thoughtful when it comes to decorating rather than my old self who would just kind of like probably go without a lot of things for a while. Sorry, as I was saying, the kitchen is very nice. It's very bright and large and good. And I am hoping I actually devote time to learn to cook and become a better cook. I can cook like small things, but it's definitely a weak skill of mine. And I really want to learn how to master it. Cause I think that's like such a cool thing. If you're able to cook, like that's, that's just incredible. That's such a respectable skill to have. So that's the goal. And then excuse the little Swiffer stuff trash there, but this is the little cute little modular sofa that I got. Um, I'm obsessed with it. It's perfect. It's perfect for the space. Um, and yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute. But yeah, I'm not fully moved in yet just because I'm still working on getting Wi-Fi set up, um, getting everything sort of situated. I still need a bed frame, waiting for that to come. So I'll probably be in here in like the next two days, hoping, fingers crossed, everything gets set up and everything works properly and things of that sort. But it's exciting. All right, I'm making Eric Kim's gochujang soup. I can't cook to save my life. And I am deciding that I am no longer going to be useless. I'm going to be able to cook and make my life better. The kale is currently cooking down. I tried the broth and I didn't love it. So I don't know if I went wrong somewhere, but it wasn't awful by any means. It's an interesting soup. I feel like almost like if you added maybe a few more spices or like more vegetables, I think I would like it a little bit better. But we'll see, it's not done yet. It's still going. Yeah. yeah. Where'd the drill go? Right here. Home stretch. Home stretch. All right, done. Okay. All right, I'm officially going to Ikea. As much as I wanted to try to avoid Ikea this time around, I think you can find like some things at Ikea that makes sense and are worth it like i don't need to splurge on absolutely everything i'm buying and i it just is so hard for me because i really like the feeling of like quality pieces and i think oftentimes ikea doesn't offer that but i do think they have like some finds that are good and worth it so i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna peruse around see if i find anything that feels worthwhile because I still need a lot of stuff and I'm get, I get so like anxious. I just want the apartment to be like done. I want to have everything in here and just for it to feel comfortable and complete. And I know I need to not rush it. This is something I've learned from the past. I should take my time with it. But as easy as that is to say, I find it very hard to follow. So we'll see. I think I've been actually moving pretty quickly. Probably too quickly. But what are you gonna do? Also, I completely forgot to circle back on my soup. That was actually very, very good. I oftentimes will underestimate myself. I do that really in all areas of my life and I don't know why or what that is, but it's like very ingrained in me and it's something I'm actively trying to fix. I downplay a lot of things. Like, I, I don't know if that's just like a defense mechanism. Either way, the soup was absolutely delicious. Check out the recipe. It's the gochujang potato stew. Um, I believe it's Eric Kim on New York Times Cooking. Very, very good. All right, back from Ikea. I am very slowly trying to figure out what I wanna do with my bed. Right now I have like this cream duvet cover and I think like a, a white may be better to go with the green pillows. I don't know, I'm struggling. But I got a few things at Ikea. including my white duvet. <laughs> Let's try it on. So the current look for now is I just wanted to throw like some color. So I just added these green pillowcases. I'm probably gonna do something different eventually and I'm gonna get like a ton of art to fill these walls because it's very white right now. Um, that's gonna hang up for example, but yeah. I don't know, I'm like, again, I'm like still figuring it all out. 
I love this Ikea um, duvet cover. I, I'm obsessed with it. It's such a good price, and I, I've always loved it. So, highly recommend. These are also from Ikea, the pillowcases. Friday evening, finally we made it here, thank God. Um, I am ready, I've changed way too many times. It's very, very cold outside in Los Angeles today. It's gonna be like 43 a low, which I know doesn't sound that bad for people who live in cold areas, but it's very, very cold. And I feel like this is something people say, like LA cold is like very cold. I don't know if it's because it's like a drier climate, but it's very freezing. Either way, we're going to get sushi and we're stuck sitting outside. So hopefully I don't freeze to death, I'm probably gonna bring another jacket on top of this or a scarf. I don't know. It's a struggle. Um, but I'm excited. I'm currently watching JoJo's season of The Bachelorette. I'm going back and rewatching it because I have nothing to watch right now. Um, I don't even really watch The Bachelor, but I watched about JoJo's season of The Bachelorette back when it came out and I thought it was so good. I loved her. She was great. And yeah, happy Friday. Happy weekend. Can't wait to just relax. All right, final outfit is this very old striped Urban Outfitters long sleeve top because it's absolutely freezing outside. And then my rag and bone jeans, black boots. I'm going to also wear my leather jacket. This is a very old leather jacket I got from Anthropology on sale. It's a very classic leather jacket shape. Okay, back to what I was saying. It's a very classic leather jacket shape, which I don't know if I'm like, Still super into or a little bit over but it does the job and it's very cute and it's very warm so it'll be perfect <laughs> 